Hi guys, just got the camera system through. I ordered two systems basically. I ordered four of these mini cameras. I'll show you. Really tiny. But if you just excuse a little noise, look at the connections there. Now the kit I bought comes with four cameras and a monitor, which is over here. And you see the connections. But I'm not going to use these cameras because they're big and bulky and they use the infrared and, and use a lot more power. But the connections are the same. And the reason I ordered them is because it comes with the wires, 10 meter, four 10 meter wires, which I can use obviously to link them all up into here. But use these cheap, well they're actually not, I'll say cheap, they're about 15, 19 pounds, something like that each. I'll order four of those. So they're the ones that are going to be going around the van rather than those big bulky ones. Now setting the system up is actually quite easy. Um, in the box here, <coughs> you get four of these 12 volt cables and on the end you see it's got that, that little adapter which plugs into um, into the power of this when it comes into the van and then the yellow one plugs into that. That red one there is the power from inside the van on this little plug here which I've actually got off at the moment but I'm going to put that into like a little 12 volt plug. Um, just to explain it a bit more in here it's a bit dark. These are those 12 volt wires that just go into the fuse box there and then that will just plug into there from the camera and then that yellow one will go into the monitor. That's all it is really. Very simple. Um, it's just a lot of wires. Obviously four cameras. Um, you've got a total of six wires coming in. No, eight wires coming in I suppose because you've got two wires on each camera coming down. But I'm going to have to waterproof these connections unless I drill the holes. This is that's the hardest part of things, mounting them. Do I drill holes and bring them in straight in or do I just run them along into my grey box which is probably the way I'm going to go. It does come with a, a remote but it doesn't look much cop. Yeah but I definitely got these cameras these tiny ones over those big ones. The monitor look, feels really plastic in cheap but it works. Those are the four video inputs and the power. This green one I should have, I would assume is an earth. Um, but I've got to run that wire into the cupboard and then it should all be up and running once I get it all mounted up. I think that's the hardest part is getting on the roof and just tidying up all the wires. But I ordered the kit with it because I wanted a 10 meter wire that should run straight from the front straight in. I think the van's only six meters long isn't it? Yeah. So that's the basic principle. Very simple to wire up. Two wires there running from all the cameras all run into the van using this 10 meter wire. One goes into the yellow here, the video wire, and one will plug into this wire which goes into my fuse box in this case. And that's it. Job job done basically. Uh, just there's a lot of messy wires, isn't there? There's going to be like eight wires in total coming through there. Um, and then the monitor just picks up from each of those and you'll get four on your display. Okay, I'm holding the trapper so you might get hand noise. Uh, I thought I'd show you the basic principle of the wiring now. Now I've got it all roughly set up. Up there I've got the monitor and I'll swing this instantly round. You'll see that... There's only one display, I've only got one camera plugged in. This is like the mains power. 
there's wire the wires going through the back of the cupboard this has got to be sorted because i've got to have a two, 12 volt in here now here's all those wires coming from the back of the monitor now this red one is that power wire that's coming from out there this yellow one is the video connection from that 10 meter cord and as you can see there's a power one there that's coming from my fuse box that's on that end then on the other end is a bit that goes outside that wire goes then plugs into the camera which is the red and yellow and there's that little camera tiny little camera that's going to have to go outside now you can see up there so I'm moving this around that's the view of the camera we'll see And it looks like I'm going to have to make sure I've got it the right way up. Doesn't seem to be any markings on the actual camera. So I'm going to have to make sure I've got that turned that the right way. So you might need someone else to tell you when. Because that's going to go on the side of the van, say, like that. As you can see up there, it's really crooked. So you're going to have to turn the twist that camera around. It's a round, on a round thing, so it's easily done. But you just need someone in here to tell you when it's level. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it's upside down. But that's the basic principle of it. This end of the coil will be coming in from outside. All this. This bit inside. Power. Um, that's the main power. Uh, video. And then it's got to have a power source. And you can see I've wired those two into one fuse there. I might wire them all in. To be, I'm thinking about wiring them all into a, into a switch so I can turn them off because um, just in case see that my battery's gone into bulk which means it's gone below 90% yeah um, it's not very sunny today at all it's raining so I don't know how that's going to work and that's it really it's a very simple setup very simple install i think the hardest part of this whole install is going to be putting the cameras outside all that fast flabbing around but i've got a great box up there as you know i'm going to run them all into that and then i've just got to waterproof it all and i'm thinking about doing that with this tape because that's waterproof and it's really sticky it's the gorilla tape so i'm going to use that i think so there you go that's how I'm going to do it. That's the plan. <laughs> okay, I've, got, I've put black tape around them now. So that's fairly watertight as it is, but I'm going to put that white tape around them as well, because I'm really paranoid. But it's all going to be white taped anyway when it's on the roof. I'm going to have white tape, a white strip going all the way down just to make it look neat. So it's going to be really well waterproofed, I reckon. I'm not that worried about it really, but I am a bit OCD with it. Now obviously this end comes into the caravan side, so and that just plugs in and shit. And that's the plan. So I've got to put the white tape on on that. Just to clean it up really and make make sure. <laughs> Back again. Yeah the white tape didn't work out really well. It's too thick. And it just looks a real mess. So I don't think the white tape is a good idea. Well, I wanted to put the camera up today, just try and mount them. It's not raining, but the sky is moving so quick. One minute it's cloudy, next minute it's blue sky, next minute it's cloudy. You just don't know what's going on, so I thought I'd just get on with it. Yeah, I need to get the screwdriver out, I forgot that. So I've got to move the van forward.
it's a bung used to camera somewhere but basically now I'm going to put it near this light down the van that's the idea I've obviously got to clean it Well, some time later now, puffed out and it peed down with rain in the middle of my install. But if you look up there, I've got the four screens. Now the one top, this one, is actually over next door's garden. It looks, so I put a thing over it, because I don't think they want me looking into their house. Um, that's the other side of the van, that side. And that's the front of the van. The camera's not quite straight. But it's just tweak back of the van. <coughs> oh. So that's the CCTV. I've got a switch up there which I can just turn them all off if I want to save it for power. So that's pretty good. See the wires down on the floor there. It's going to get a bit dark here, sorry. In there, so it's just a mess of wires. I just need to sort it all out. And on the roof as well, I haven't tidied up the wires, but at least the CCTV's working. Yeah. And you can press these buttons. Right there. That's next door. That's this side. <laughs> and that's the front. And that's the back. See, you can see all the crap on top of our garage. And this middle button is the multi views. So that would be that side and that side view, which is quite good. That's the front and the back. Then you have to go through these, these other silly little views. And you can have it on all four. So that's the uh, left and right, back and front. And that is. The CCTV. Oh yeah. There's wires all over the roof as you can imagine. We really need to tidy them up. It's just, the weather's really crap. And the cameras are really tiny. Let me take you outside. I'll show you where the cameras are. Oh, some Amazon boxes everywhere. Oh. Okay. So that one up there, tiny, but a bit tiny. Yeah. I've got that one there. I've got that one there. It's actually covered up at the moment. Poke your head up and see the wire. The wire in. And I've got one on the front. Yeah. So that's 
worth it really. A lot of tidying up to do, but the hard part's done. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I was out of breath when I turned that camera on. <laughs> I've got the lights on, but it's not making much difference. So that's the camera system, well, the camera's put up and they're all going into my grey box as planned, although I don't think it's quite waterproof because the wires are too small for the input to be done. I mean, so I've got to put tape around those or filler or something. I'll probably use tape because that filler's really messy. Um, but the camera's working. So I turn the monitor on, see the camera's all off, I can turn the switch on and bam, they all come on. So, you know, during the day, maybe when, <coughs> when I've got all the windows open and stuff, I don't need the CCTV, although it's good fun. Um, I can turn them off and just save battery. I've, while I was at it, I put that little sensor out, outside as well, up through the hole. So outside it's saying it's 11.5 Celsius. And inside it's 17.1 Celsius. So that's pretty good. Um, so I'm glad I got that out there because it's always handy to know what the temperature is. Batteries, for some reason, I think it's because I'm not really using them. It's, it's on float, so they're not really, they're 90 odd percent. I'm not quite sure how that works. 89.8 now, according to that. But uh, I'm not really that worried because I've got hardly anything running on them at the moment. But I'm really pleased with that. I wish I had that when I was up Kettering because that would have been really good. Now I just need to work out how to get another monitor up in the bed area and we'll run off the same wires, if you know what I mean. So I need to work that out because that would be really good to have that over there if I'm in bed. If I'm not sleeping here, which I'd rather sleep here to be honest. I wonder if it does auto cycle, you know, cycle through, I don't think it does. But if anyone's going to be walking around the van, I'm going to see them, aren't I? Something on top of the garage. Oh no, just the bushes at the back. That front one is not quite level. Uh, that's the back garage. That's the front view. And it's not quite level, is it? That's going to annoy me. Yeah, still a little bit. And it's, maybe I should move it down more. What do you think? I can't see right down in the front of the motorhome. I can see out, which is okay, I suppose. So that's what I've been up to. That's the CCTV. I just need to tidy all those wires up. <coughs> oh, I bought this. So you measure and then you know what size hole to drill in the wood. Thought it might come in handy, all the holes I'm drilling. Yeah, so these videos aren't really exciting and to top it all off we've got the bloody lockdown, November lockdown haven't we? So tomorrow's supposed to be sunny so I might be able to tie those wires up, up there. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been up to. Anyway, please remember to like and subscribe. I know it's not overly exciting, but it is like a vlog channel. This is my vlog. This is what I've been doing. Um, yeah, show some support. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And uh, if anyone knows about how I can link those cables up, video to another monitor, that'd be great. I'm just so tired. I bought this stuff as well. Installation goes around pipes when I do the diesel heater. I was thinking it might stop it from setting my floor on fire or something. Ugh. Yeah. Oh well, be good out there. Remember, change your world from within and the universe changes with you. It's a bit long that saying, isn't it? Talking soon. Be good.